We now instrument a duplicate curved canal in a plastic block, only we go one millimeter short or to what would be the constriction. As you can see, the 08 reamer goes to the end of the canal, but not through it. The 10 reamer is then placed in the reciprocating handpiece. So far, so good. The 15 relief reamer is encountering some resistance, but we still get to measurement. When I use the 20 relief reamer, I am definitely hitting a wall. I take the reamer from the reciprocating handpiece and attempt to instrument the length manually, but I am unable to do so. Going short has caused the impaction of debris, compromising our patency to length. I once again attempt to gain full length with the 20 reamer in the reciprocating handpiece and fall somewhat short. I proceed with the tapered piezo, hoping the reduction in engagement along length will give me a better chance at achieving patency for the full length. It is to no avail. Going back with the 20 reamer shows I have lost a millimeter of working length due to the impaction of debris. I never recover this loss of length and in fact aggravate the blockage and increase the amount I am short. There is a tendency to use greater apical pressure on the instruments to overcome resistance. However, this results in further apical distortions. After a while, you begin to see the deviation of the instruments to the outer wall. This is a frustrating procedure to be doing, all the more so because the final result produces inadequate apical shaping with canal instrumentation being short of measurement and distorted while leaving potentially infected apically impacted debris. An inspection of the block at different angles clearly shows the apical distortions that could have been prevented by adopting a technique that calls for a 1mm extension through a 25.